One technique we have for factoring an expression is factoring out a common factor. And this is one of the easiest things you can do to factor, and so it's always the first thing you should try. In this case, look at example one here. We have two terms, the 2x and the 6. This whole expression we want to factor, so we look at each term and we try to find a common factor. And it's pretty clear that there's a 2 and an x in that term. This term, 6, can be thought of as 2 times 3. So in other words, both terms have a factor of 2, and we can factor that out. I can write this as 2 times x plus 3. So I've split this up now into two pieces. The 2 is one factor, and the x plus 3 is another. And you can see that if we multiply those together, we have to distribute the 2, and we end up with 2 times x plus 2 times 3, which is the 6. So distributing, or multiplying those two things together, which in this case involves distributing, multiplying those two together gives me the original expression. So those two things are factors. And the, the simple thing I'm pointing out here is that we got there, we were able to factor it by factoring out a common factor. We took the 2 out of this term, making it just become an x, and we took a 2 out of here, and it became a 3. And so we have the 2 out here by itself and the x plus 3. All right, let's do another one. x squared plus 3x. Each of these terms has an x in it, so I can factor out the x. If I take an x out of the first term, there's one x remaining. And if I take an x out of this term, the 3x, and by take an x out, I mean essentially divide it by x, divide this term by x. That leaves me with a 3. So I have x times x plus 3. And you can see that multiplying here would give me x times x, which is x squared, plus x times 3, which is 3x. So these are the two factors. Now this next one's um, important. Watch this. I can factor out a 5. You see the 5 there. And this 10 can be thought of as 5 times 2. So if I take a 5 out of this term, I can write it as 5. And that just leaves me with an x squared. And I have my plus. And if I take a 5 out of this term, I'm left with 2x. You can see that that works. Multiplying, to check our work, would give us 5 times x squared, which is that, plus 5 times 2x, which is our other term. So I factored out a 5 from each term. But look here, each term also has an x in it. There's an x there and an x there. I could have said this. I could have factored out the x instead. If I take an x out of the first term, that would leave me with 5x. And if I take an x out of this term, that would just leave me with a 10. And you can see that this works also. If I take these two things and multiply them together, I should still get that. So let's try it. x times 5x, mm -hmm, that's 5x squared. And x times 10, that's 10x. So the question is, which, should I, which way should I do this? Should I factor out the 5, giving me those two factors? Or should I factor out the x, giving me those two factors? The answer is that you should factor out both. You want to always try to factor out the largest factor that both terms have. So you need to think of this as this term having a factor of 5x and this term having a factor of 5x. So here's the correct way to factor this. You take a 5x out of each term. So if I divide this term by 5x, that just leaves me with an x. And if I divide this term by 5x, that just leaves me with a 2. Now it's factored. It's 5x times x plus 2. And you could think of this as three factors, 5 times x times x plus 2. And what I've done here in factoring out the 5x, instead of just the 5 or just the x, I've taken out the largest possible factor from each term. And while I'm here, I'll say a couple of things about taking out a factor from each term. If I take this 5x out of each of these terms, what that means is I basically divide each term by 5x. And dividing this first term by 5x, 
that leaves me with an x. And dividing this second term by 5x, that's what leaves me with a 2. So I divide both terms by 5x, leaving me with this, but then multiplying them by 5x will give me my original expression. That's another way you can think about the whole process. And just remember that in any of these factoring problems, you want to factor out the largest possible factor from each term.